all YouTube. This video is actually going to be a part two to a Bearded Dragon genetics video. So in this video, we're actually going to be talking about recessive genetics within Bearded Dragons. So obviously, since I talked about the non-recessive genetics in the Bearded Dragon video I made last time, we're not going to be talking about them in this video. So this is strictly just talking about the hypo, the translucent, the wiblets, and the zeros. So let's get rolling. Hey, while I have you, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything that I put out in the future. And if you haven't watched my previous videos, you should check them out. They're pretty awesome. So here we have a red hypo bearded dragon. And the way you can tell with the hypo bearded dragon is the nails. So in hypo bearded dragons, the nails will be clear. And the only thing you will be able to see in them is a faint vein line. And that vein line is actually where you should not be cutting the dragon's nails. So just a safety tip or I guess a grooming tip. Do not cut where there is a vein line. So... This girl actually needs her nails trimmed here shortly and trying to get it to focus. That whole nail would stop about there and then everything else can be cut. Hypo's nails will be clear. And another thing with hypo bearded dragons is that they are usually more colorful than regular bearded dragons, which is why all of my bearded dragons are hypo. Next, I want to talk about translucent dragons. Translucent dragons actually have a gummy appearance to them and most of the scales, if not all of their scales, are see-through. Now there is partial translucent or low expression translucent and those will have a lot of scales that are not translucent or they will have eyes that are normal colored instead of black. So translucents have black eyes and the look. Translucents have black eyes versus non-translucents will have regular colored eyes. And then they will also have gummy bellies. That is another way you can tell if an animal is translucent. Even if they are just partial translucent or low expression translucent, even if their eyes are not black, they will still have that gummy appearance to them. Uh, I'll show you an example of a partial or low expression translucent bearded dragon right now. Here's an example of a partial translucent or low expression translucent bearded dragon. This guy is a hypo trans dunner. And again, like I said, their eyes will be normal colored. They're not going to be black. If I can get it to focus. Their eyes will be normal colored and they will still have that gummy belly again this is a hypo trans dunner so he just happens to be a partial translucent or low expression translucent for breeding purposes you'd still treat this as a translucent so if you were to breed this animal even though he doesn't have the black eyes he is still a translucent animal so you would still breed him as if he were translucent instead of breeding him as a het trans. This next dragon here is what's called a wiblets. Wiblets come in different colors. They are patternless bearded dragons, so they have no pattern, but they are not colorless bearded dragons. So this girl here is a, I would call this orange, an orange wiblets. Uh, I wouldn't say she is super high colored, but she's definitely more colored than some other wiblets that I have seen. But there are also more colorful wiblets than her. So the way you can tell that you have a wiblet is it is patternless and it's colored. Another way you can tell is wiblets do not have shoulder pads. So unlike normal bearded dragons and other bearded dragons, wiblets do not have shoulder pads. So that is how you can tell that you have a wiblet, besides the fact that it's patternless and has color. This next guy I want to show off is my Hypo Wiro. Wiro is just slang for a wiblet zero. So I don't have a zero to show off, but I can show you the difference between a Wiro and a zero. So Wiros, because they have that wiblet gene in them, they do not have shoulder pads. So this guy does not have shoulder pads. 
Therefore, he is a weirdo. If it was a zero, it would have shoulder pads just like any other bearded dragon. And I'll try to—I'll show you some examples of some shoulder pads on some of my bearded dragons. But that is the only difference between really a weirdo and a zero is the fact that one has shoulder pads and one does not. Another difference that you might see in Weiros versus Zeros is marbling. Weiros tend to have a lot more marbling than Zeros do. So this guy actually has a lot of marbling on his tail. And what marbling is, is just all of these black patches all down his back and also down his tail. That is marbling. So this guy is a Hypo Weiro. If you want to get a white dragon and you can afford a little bit nicer animal. I think Hypo Weiros end up being a lot wider than Hypo Zeros do, but they tend to cost a little bit more because they also have two recessive genetics that make up a Weiro versus a Zero. It's just one recessive genetic that makes it up. So you have Zero and Wiblets in this Weiro that I'm showing you right here. So here's another example of a Hypo Bearded Dragon. This one is Hypo 66% trans. 100% had zero, 50% had wiblets. We will get into percentages in the next video that I make about genetics. But this part here is just to show off the shoulder pads that you can find on anything that's not a wiblets or contains wiblets in it. So weiros will not have shoulder pads. Wiblets will also not have shoulder pads. Every other type of bearded dragon will have shoulder pads. If you've been liking what I've been making so far, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell.